Hello, I'm Joseph Coilo, children's author and poet. As a child growing up in Roehampton, it was hugely important that I had access to books writing. I was very lucky that uh, my mum would take my little sister and me to the local library, Roehampton Library, which is still there, which opened up the world of books and reading and writing. I've got lots of memories of growing up in Wandsworth and indeed lots of the sights and sounds of Wandsworth are in my work. You can see works of art, public works of art, like Lynn Chadwick's statues, the watchers, which still exist um, in Roehampton. You can see my old estate, the Alton West estate, and indeed Binley House, where I grew up, appears in several of my books. And seeing greater representation in the writing world is hugely important to me. I didn't see a huge number of people like me from families like my own in the books or indeed in film or TV as I was growing up. So I feel very passionate now about including all sorts of people and families and backgrounds within my own work, within my own poems and stories, so that every child gets a, the opportunity to see themselves reflected. The best part about coming into schools and performing um, is that you get to connect with readers and children and get to hopefully inspire them to read books and to write their own books. And what's so wonderful about being in my home borough and doing that is that I can talk about the inspirations behind a lot of my books, the experiences I had, in my schools and in my childhood. And so to be able to talk about places and for the young people to recognize those places is, is not only just a lovely experience, but also I think very powerful for those young people to see their hometowns represented. I think it's really important for people of all ages and especially young people to find expression through words because of course words is how we communicate with one another. And the more practice we have expressing ourselves, the stronger our words become. It means we can put across clearly what we mean, put across clearly how we feel, um, describe and talk about the, the things, the issues, the themes, the ideas that affect us, which can only be a good thing to help bring communities closer together.